Hi everybody, welcome to my home kitchen. So let's get started. What are we making today? We're making some egg tarts slash don tots. And I separated all the ingredients that we need into three simple groups. So first off, for the oil dough, we need some butter and some flour. And for the water dough, we need some more flour, some eggs, and some iced water. And lastly, for the filling, we need some sugar, some milk, and some more eggs. And lastly, some vanilla extract. And very lastly, we need some molds and some cute little cupcake holders and that is all you need to make some yummy egg tarts. Ta-da! So first up is the oil dough. Let's sift this flour so that it's nice and fluffy and smooth. I transferred all the flour and all my butter into this container so that I can mix it with my electric hand mixer. But as you can see here, I ran into some problems because it kept getting stuck. And um, yeah, so then I resorted to use this chopper instead and the results turned out much better. As you can see, it's turning into a dough and I flattened it out into a square and I put it into the fridge. Next step is the water dough. So you just mix all of your ingredients together and you start kneading it and until it turns into dough. After a while of doing that and you're ready, you can wrap it in some saran wrap and you can put it into the fridge. After about 20 minutes, you take out both doughs and you start rolling the water dough first. Since I didn't have a rolling pin, I just used this glass jar. So Asian! When the water dough is about half an inch wide, you can put your oil dough in the middle and you can fold it all together like a parcel, like a little envelope and put it into the fridge. Try to make sure that none of the oil dough is sticking out. After this, we're doing a 3x3x4 folding method, which means after every 20 minutes, you take out the dough from the fridge and you roll it flat again into half an inch and you fold it. First in threes, and then by threes again, and lastly by fours. This took so long. Especially because the oil dough in the middle kept protruding out from the water dough. So in that case, you just have to continue to put more flour and try to patch it up. So finally, we are ready to cut out the molds. So you take it out of the fridge and you flatten it again into half an inch. And since I didn't have any mold cutter, I just used this glass cup to form the circles on my dough. So you carefully take out each of the molding and you can push it onto the sides and the bottom of these cupcake moldings. Afterwards, you can use a fork to poke little holes into your moldings as well. At long last, we get to make the fillings. So since I don't have granulated sugar, I actually just made my own using my magic bullet, as you can see here. Then I mixed everything together and make sure you mix well here. To make sure it's extra smooth, we're just going to sieve the egg filling twice. Now we can take the molding out of the fridge and we can fill it with these egg fillings that we just made. Everything is finally coming together here. Now we pop everything into the oven, but make sure you read the recipe correctly because I didn't. And I ended up baking this at 200 degrees Fahrenheit instead of 200 degrees Celsius and this was the result. But that's okay because I had some extra dough and some extra filling so the next day I tried again. This time I used a bowl to cut out my mold instead so that I can have a bigger base. And then after everything I just popped it into the oven at the correct temperature this time. It was hot. Watch them rise here, it's so beautiful. And then finally, it was time to take them out of the oven. Batch number two. Still not the most aesthetically pleasing, but thanks for watching.